Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Pat and Dottie here with Dottie's Gaming Adventures, and we are adventuring into the vast world of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild 2 was announced, and we'll probably be here before we know it, but we this provided a great chance to revisit this game. It's an amazing game, one of my favorites of all time put many hours into it, but uh, it's been a while, so we're going to dive back in. Alright, in the last episode, we woke up from... Link woke up from being asleep for 100 years, apparently. We met this old man, who's teaching us some things, and activated a tower, and we're about to head over to try and find this other place that contains some treasure that the old guy wants. All right. Oh. Hey. Oh, got him. Good shot. All right, and I got the traveler's sword here. Boblin Fang, Bacoblin Fang, tooth obtained from a Bacoblin. It's worn down and not very sharp, but it's still pretty hard. Cook it alongside a critter to make an elixir. Hey, buddy! <laughs> where, where are you? Come on. Hey. Let's just go. Treasure chest activated. We got lots of video game adventures happening on this channel, so if you're new to us, uh, please subscribe if you have not. Change our shields quickly, alright. So, I wonder... We have the woodcutter's axe. There are some goodies and some of these treasure boxes for sure. and arrows. Ooh, a restless cricket. A very energetic cricket. Cook it with monster parts to create a stamina recovery elixir. That's good to know. Alright, where was the... There it is. Traveler sword, a very common sword often kept by travelers to fend off small beasts. It's fairly durable, but a bit unreliable against monsters. Whenever we're here, we can so we can sit by the fire. Or Alright, so I wanna put my sword back on. We can cook some. <laughs> Simmered fruit. The sweet dish is made by heaping tasty fruits into a pan, simmering until tender. Check a meal's ingredients by selecting it from your inventory and then selecting recipe. And you can hold up to five... Items at one time. 
fruit and mushroom mix. This dish contrasts the sweetness of fruit with the savoriness of mushrooms. <laughs> mushroom skewer. Ooh, that gets me five hearts. I don't even have five hearts yet. Simple mushroom pack skewer has its colorful presentation to thank for its appeal. Simmered fruit. This sweet dish is made by heaping tasty fruits into a pan and simmering till tender. Alright, I'll hold on to the rest of those apples. For now. Alright. Let's get going. Okay, how do I make it over there? Can I climb this stuff? Shrine. Oh, there's a treasure chest here. And there is. Okay, so. If you're playing this game for the first time and you do not have the DLC, you will not see this here. But I have both DLC packs, and one of them gives you some extra treasure chests, like this one here. So let's take a look at what we got. A ruby, precious red gem mined from large ore deposits found throughout Hyrule. Rubies contain the power of fire and have fetched a high price since ancient times. Wonderful. Alright, so this will be interesting because I'm sure I will be coming across things that I did not in the original playthrough. Um, but now I will, so that's cool because there is so much stuff in this game that this will make for a, a whole new adventure, if you will. She can slay confirmed. Travel gate registered to map. So these are cool because that this place now becomes a warp zone. Access granted. So as we travel through the world, we'll be able to travel directly to, say, this spot right here. Instead of walking around the whole time. So that's kind of cool. Examine. Some tips and tricks. Sets foot in this shrine. I am Omanao. In the name of the goddess, goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Magnesis trial. And also, I've noticed, I'll pay attention to see if that ends up being the case, but I believe one of the updates to the system a couple of months ago. One of the things that happened as a result was the loading screens were supposed to take less time and load load much faster, which will be helpful during this playthrough as well. Distilling Rune. That's liquid. I hope it didn't damage my tablet. Magnesis. Manipulate me metallic objects using magnetism. Rune extracted. Grab onto metallic objects using the magnetic energy that pours forth from the magnesis rune. 
Objects held in the magnetic snare can be lifted up and moved freely. Awesome. To use your rune, press the L button. Okay. Oh, look at that. stuff way okay we got a ladder here let's climb down Increases your stealth, making it easier. Okay. Ancient spring. A spring used in ancient machinery. It is light and buoyant enough to float on water. No matter how many times it's compressed, it never loses tension. Ancient screw. A screw used in ancient machinery. It's made of an unknown material, and no matter how many times it's turned, its threads never seem to show signs of wear. So here we got our bridge. And I'm thinking we gotta bring this guy over here with our magnetism. proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am Omanau, the creator of this trial. I am a humble monk, blessed with the sight of the goddess Hylia and dedicated to help those who seek to take down Ganon. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. Goddess Hylia, allow me to bestow this gift upon you. Please accept the spirit orb. Spirit orb, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. There's a number one up there, so this appears to be something we'll be collecting. May the goddess smile upon you. Alright, so this looks to be our treasure that the old man wanted. So hopefully he'll, uh, let's go get us a paraglider. Okay, yeah, these loading screens are much quicker than they were. Oh! Alright, dude. Seems you have managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. Paraglider, please. Mm. I encourage you to slow down for a moment, my courageous friend. But you said... The appearance of those towers and the awakening of this shrine... Mm. is all connected to that Sheikah Slate 
carry on your hip there. What do you mean? Ooh. It has been quite some time since I've seen that Sheikah Slate. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. Their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think that how something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. Hmm. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. <laughs> Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines, and I will give you my paraglider. Dude, that wasn't the deal. Hmm. Oh, well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young go-getter like you. Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. It's always best hmm. to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of the tower again? Are you joking? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I am afraid not, but do not worry. I have another little trick to share with you for your effort. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah slate. Okay. Ooh. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke, the shrine that you came from, and the tower. Yeah. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah slate. Hmm. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. Okay, dude. So, okay, so we can see our venture log has been updated. The old man explained that there are a total of four shrines on the plateau. He said that he will give you the paraglider once you have acquired the spirit orb from all of the shrines. He told you to survey the plateau from the top of the tower to find the remaining shrines. He also pointed out that you can use your Sika Slate if you need to travel quickly. Alright, so let's pull up our map. Hero's Path Mode is unlocked. Press X on the map to see your journey thus far. This is another DLC. Okay. This is really cool. And we'll, it'll become more important later on. We'll be able to track our path that we traveled in the game. That's That's really cool. Okay, so let's travel to the tower, shall we? Dude, how did you get up here so fast? <laughs> oh ho! I'm surprised it took you so long to catch up with an old man like me. How did you? <laughs> oh, oh, leave an old man his secrets. Now then, hmm. I wanted you to join me up here so you could use this as a vantage point to search for shrines. Do you know about the scope on your Sheikah slate? Look through it and you can stick a pin anywhere you'd like to mark on the map. So you press the right stick and then A to place a pin. Hmm. The pins on your map serve as a reference points for your travels. Just stick a pin anywhere you're interested in. How do you know? Hmm. Experience, wisdom, instinct. Call it what you will and believe it only if you so please. Go ahead and take a look if you feel inclined to do so. I do. So let's see. We... Okay. Take a look around. Aha! There's one. All right, well, let's go back to that one. We found one so far. Okay. So then here. Bingo. There's another one. There's two. Oh, is that a third one? He said there were three more on this plateau. 
Oh, here's one. What is that? That one's... So there's some towers. Okay, so there's definitely stuff beyond this plateau. I don't know if... That one might be too far off. Like, there's another one. If you try to just jump down from the top, you will get uh, instant death. Okay, so I see on my map I am traveling for... so is that? Yeah, let's try to get the yellow. It's almost nighttime. Arrows. Oh, there's arrows everywhere. I could definitely use those. Interesting, those barrels respawned. Saying. That's my baked apple. Eyeball, a rare material dropped by defeated Keese. It's fun to look at, but it doesn't seem to have as much use at first glance. But it must be good for something. Keese wing, the wing of a Keese. It's covered with very short, sharp fur. It's not much used by itself, but you can mix it with critters to make something useful. Oh. Okay, so these enemies come up. Uh, if you ever played Macoblin Arm, a skeletal arm that keeps moving even after it's severed from its body. It's kind of gross to strap it to your back, but it'll do in a pinch. It's old and fragile, so it's quick to break. I cannot carry any more weapons. <laughs> this stuff here. Let's take a look at my weapons that I've got. You know, the tree branch. 
That's kind of outlived its usefulness here. All right. So if you've ever played Ocarina of Time, when you're going across Hyrule Field, and it turns to night, and different kinds of enemies and skeletons come out to attack you, it's kind of the same thing with those guys here. Alright, we're getting close to the yellow path. Is this a camp with some more guys? Yes, it is. So, can I sneak up on them while they're sleeping? I actually want to switch to the club. Hey man, what's up? Acorn, often found on this ground near trees. Squirrels and Darth is nuts, so you may have competition while foraging. Add one to a meal for a nutty season. I will do that. Oh. I'm a fan of those bees. But, one thing you can do, you can sit by a fire while there are enemies near. What enemies are near? Are the bees? Let's try out the how I would. Courser bee honey. Honey straight from the hive is chock full of nutrients. Cooking this into a meal unlocks the potential of these nutrients and provides a stamina recovery effect. So, well, it's close enough to the sun's coming up anyway. So I have to get up there. Such a peaceful environment here. Some kind of mushroom? Rushroom. A mushroom that can grow almost anywhere, prefers ceilings and sheer cliffs. Cook it before eating to temporarily, temporarily increase your movement speed. over here. Stamella shroom, a green mushroom that grows near trees in the forest. It's chock full of natural energy. Cook it to release its stamina restoration properties. So we definitely have some recipes that are going to help us with our stamina. Pot lid, the lid of a strange soup pot, large soup pot. It smells vaguely of poultry broth. Yum. It can take quite a beating before breaking. Okay then. Alright, whose house is this? Uh, the old man. Spicy pepper. This pepper is exploding with spice. Cook it cook with it to create dishes that will raise your body temperature and help you withstand the cold. The old man's diary. We can't read it in front of him, can we? Hey. Hey, come here. Oh ho, fancy that. So we meet again. What are you doing? 
Ooh. I was just about to go cut down a few trees over there. We'll have to talk later. All right. Now that he's gone, we'll read his diary. On this desolate plateau, the only pleasure that brings me comfort is cooking. And today I outdid myself. Truly, I created the perfect dish. I call it spicy meat and seafood fry. This recipe not only restores health, but also keeps me warm even when traveling in the snowy mountains. With this dish on my side, I no longer need of that itchy, warm doublet. I do not know how I allowed this to happen, but it seems I forgot to write down a very important recipe. I know it contained raw meat and spicy pepper. However, I simply cannot remember what else I used. My age is catching up to me. Sadly, on this lonely plateau, I have only my own knowledge and memory to rely on. Still, if I did find someone who knew the missing ingredient, I would happily reward them with my warm doublet. However, it seems unlikely that such a miraculous wish will ever be fulfilled. That's what you think. <laughs> Step out of this room and a baked apple. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this episode. So... If you like this episode and want to see more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, please hit that thumbs up button. Like this video, it helps a lot. Um, please uh, leave a comment below if you're enjoying the series. And uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Alright, thanks so much for watching. We will catch you in the next one. Donnie's Gaming Adventures.